everybody, and welcome to Wednesday's fantastic Take and Make Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. My name's Allie, and today we're going to be making some circuit cards out of electricity. So we're going to be lighting up some anglerfish. Have you ever heard of an anglerfish before? It is a fish that lives in the deep, deep, deepest parts of the ocean, and it uses its rod and lure on its head, kind of like a little fishing pole, to catch its prey and to eat it as well. So we're going to create one of those light up rod and lures today. And you can find out more about anglerfish if you come into the library and check out a book on them. We have tons of books about them. Well, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at what we have in our craft kits today. In your take and make kit, you should have an anglerfish card with all the instructions on the inside. You should have a piece of copper tape. You should have two LED light bulbs, but you're only going to use one, so I only have one for the video today. And you should have a battery. Now this is a small CR2032 battery. It's a watch battery, but it also will work with this cool little LED light bulb that we have. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, so make sure to have those handy and ready. Well, let's get started. Our first step is to color your anglerfish. So you can color any color that you want. You can draw a deep sea background in the background if you want to, whatever you like to do. I'm going to skip that step and jump right into the electronic circuit aspect of our craft today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our small LED light bulb and you'll notice that one side is shorter than the other side. Keep that in mind for our first step. So on the outside of our card, we're going to insert our LED light bulb into the small holes on the anglerfish's rod and hook, or rod and lure, excuse me. So we're going to put the shorter negative end, that shorter end that we have, on the left hand side. And you can see on the back here also, the negative end is going to go right on the what's the right hand side on the back but for now it's going to be the left hand side so we'll stick that through shorter prong on the left hand side if your anglerfish is facing you like this and great and we'll push it all the way through and then you're going to take your prongs and bend the prongs at a 90 degree angle one going this way so the right going to the right and the left going to the left, right along those copper lines is where you wanna fold them down. So you can see them folded down there and that makes it so your LED light bulb stays in place. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our battery out of the pack, out of its casing. So we have our battery now, we have that ready to go. And now we're going to place the battery in the circle indicated on the diagram with the positive side facing up. So as you can see, your battery has a plus sign on one side. That's the positive side. So you're going to place that in the circle with the plus sign facing up. Great. And don't worry about taping that down just yet. We can do that later. Next, we're going to use our copper tape and we're going to cover all of the copper lines with copper tape. So I like to do this in a way which we can, which is a little bit more manageable, I think. So I cut small pieces and do each individual line like that. So bear with me here. And it's easier to cut small pieces as well because this copper tape likes to fold back and stick to itself. So working with smaller pieces makes it easier to manage. So that first piece of copper tape is gonna go right over the prong on that copper piece of um, on that copper line right there. Now I'm going to measure out my next piece. It needs to be about that long. And again, this is just a lot easier than doing it as one big piece. It might be kind of hard to peel it off of the, of the backing. You can have an adult help you with that or someone who has long nails. Okay. Here we go. So while I'm putting my copper tape down, I'm making sure that all of the copper tape is touching each other. So there's actually overlap on these two right here, and I want there to be overlap on all of my copper tape connections. Now this next one is going to go on top of the battery from the copper line up on top of the battery, so we want it to be long enough for that. Okay. 
So this side will go on top of the battery. And the next side that we do is going to go below, but let's focus on this side first. So we'll connect it, we'll overlap so that we get that connection and stick it right to the top of the battery, just like that. Great job. So now your battery should be connected just by the top end, right like that. On the other side, we're going to take a piece of copper tape, peel it off the back, and we're going to put it, flip over the battery and put it underneath the battery, just like that, so that the bottom part of the battery touches the copper tape. So we have it connected on the top on one side and the bottom on the other side. All right, just a few more pieces of copper tape that we need to put on. We'll do this one going up here. Again, making sure to overlap. And let's get our top pieces as well. Again, sometimes this copper tape can be kind of tricky to get off of its backing, but if you have nails, it makes it a little bit easier, or you can ask an adult who has nails. So notice how I'm leaving a little gap. I'm leaving a little gap between my copper tape right there. You should leave that gap as well. And one more piece on this side. Again, making sure to overlap. Just a second, let me get my copper tape off. Oops. Great. And we're just going to, again, overlap and put that down. Now I have a gap right here, but we're going to fill in with more copper tape this line so that when this line closes, it closes the gap and creates a closed complete circuit for our electricity to flow through. So last one, here we go. And now, all right. All of our top copper tape is connected to the positive and to the negative prongs, to the positive and the negative side of the battery. So now what should happen is when we close our, our card, the switch right here on the right hand side should connect the two gaps right here on the left hand side and create a complete closed circuit for electricity to flow through, allowing the battery to light up the light bulb. So let's see if we did this right. So I'm closing my card, we're seeing if the connection was made, and there we go. We have achieved a light. Great job, everyone. You might have to wiggle your, your uh, card around a little bit, kind of move it with your fingers so you can find where that connection is exactly. Now, if you want to keep the connection on all the time, you can place a piece of copper tape connecting these two pieces right here as well but otherwise you have completed your circuit card connection. Great job, everyone. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me as we made our light up angler fish cards. Very neat. You can see how it lights up at the end of the angler fish's rod and lure. And again, that's what the angler fish uses to catch its prey in the deep dark ocean. So can you imagine being a little fish down there and seeing just this little light bulb in the deep dark ocean when there's nothing else it might look pretty attractive, huh? You might want to go up to it too. Oh, but you better watch out for that anglerfish because he has big teeth as well. You can learn more about anglerfish at the library, so make sure to come on in and also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and updates from the Rapid City Public Library. We'll see you next time, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.